Hello, everyone. My name is Christy Nowak, and I'm the Composition Librarian. And in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is popular articles. So probably a lot of you are already familiar with popular articles. If you've ever been to like a bookstore or a grocery store and seen a rack of newspapers and magazines, those are all popular articles. And probably if you have seen uh, newspapers and magazines in a grocery store or a bookstore, you have some familiarity with the fact that, you know, popular articles, there's a really wide range of quality. So popular articles can kind of be everything from tabloids to really high quality investigative journalism. So in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is, you know, what popular articles are, how to find them in our databases, what they look like and what their features are in our databases, and using the databases to help identify some of those higher quality articles. So as I mentioned, popular articles are usually published in newspapers and magazines. They're most often written by journalists. Um, so people who might have expertise in journalism, but not necessarily in what they're writing about. And popular articles are particularly useful for opinions, uh, current events, and also local events. So scholarly articles, they don't tend to be opinion focused, they tend to be research focused. They will tend not to talk about very local issues, like something that's happening in Fort Collins, because they tend to have a broader research scope. And also, the publication cycle for peer-reviewed articles is a lot longer than for popular articles. Peer-reviewed articles can take months or years to publish. Whereas if there's a big current event, you're going to see newspaper articles about it within a couple hours. So popular articles can be much better sources for very recent events. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a browser so I can show you a couple of popular articles from our library databases. So this is a magazine article from a magazine called Parks and Recreation. Some things you can see, it's got this big glossy picture. Looking a little bit at the text, it's sort of talking about things in the city of Phoenix, talking about like local events or people or, you know, something that happened or very common topics for popular articles. In terms of the text, it's usually going to be a little bit shorter and more for a general audience than peer reviewed articles. There might not be a lot of information about where the information came from or who the author is. So here's a little blurb about the author. So you might not see references, you might see some ads, you're probably going to see some pictures. Um, this is a very typical looking magazine article. And just to uh, pull up a newspaper article, I did want to mention, this is a newspaper article from USA Today. Um, so some things about this, this is not the like, you know, original newspaper formatting. But you can see that this is the full text. So this is the complete article, even though it doesn't include things like pictures in the newspaper formatting. So a lot of newspaper articles in our databases will look like this. In terms of finding popular articles, this is just a quick search I did in the database Academic Search Premier. And I will talk a little bit more about searching the databases in another video. But I did just want to mention that a lot of our databases do have the options, I'm looking under source types, to limit to like newspapers or magazines or both. And this can be a way for you to find popular articles for your assignment. So this is a search that's giving me popular articles. One more strategy I did want to mention, this is the library's homepage. I'm clicking on the A to Z database list. There is also an option under all subjects to look under newspapers and news sources. And this is a list of databases that you have access to as a CSU student that are focused pretty exclusively on newspaper articles. So these are all popular article databases because they're newspapers. You might wanna check if there are any restrictions on your assignment about which databases you can use, but these can be a really good option if you're having trouble finding enough popular articles. So that's some basic information about what popular articles are, some places that you might be able to find them. If you have any questions about you know, what an article is, how to find it, how to get access to something, how to use any of these databases, please feel free to contact me. This is my name and contact information. There's also a link to the online guide for CO150. 
And whether you're taking CO150 or another composition class, there are lots of great examples of both popular and peer-reviewed articles on that guide. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.